Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And in today's video, we are gonna address another big issue that everybody is facing while learning programming. And uh, whether it's about mobile app development or web apps development, it's pretty much everything. And moreover, dedicated towards the beginners who are learning the programming are facing two big issues. So we are gonna discuss what these issues are and we are gonna try to solve them. Now, first of all, you need to understand what are those issues. As I always say, in order to solve a problem, first you need to recognize that there is one. So let's discuss about them in this video. In this channel, we talk about programming, mobile apps, web apps, and pretty much everything related to technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now let's discuss about what are these two big issues that everybody is facing right now who are trying to learn programming. And these two big issues are lack of projects and lack of patience. Again, both started with the P, so projects and patience are the two big issues that I have seen. Now I teach a lot and uh, all over the globe I have taught almost more than 60,000 students, registered and paying students and as well as in India I have taken a lot of workshops and webinars and uh, offline seminars as well. So I have seen this quite a common pattern and that pattern has evolved with a lack of something in our education system. Now you go to any any state there and you will find in the universities you will find the curriculum that simply says hey you have to learn things like uh, data science or data structure and you have to just clear up the exam and that's it and people are not making enough projects to understand what is the essence of that subject or why that subject is actually necessary for example people are learning thermodynamics but have never understood where the thermodynamics need to be applied coming back on to the programming scenario same thing happens when you learn about the data structure, C, C++, or anything. Everybody just says it's being used everywhere, but nobody exactly tells you that what kind of application you're gonna build up uh, by the end of this semester. So that is really something wrong going on. And with this, when people learn something like HTML or PHP, uh, they are not having any idea what kind of good projects they can build up because the mentor is actually not taking them or driving through them completely with the scenario of designing a project. Of course, this doesn't happen in the online or offline boot camps, but uh, major of, majority of the people are not taking boot camps. They are just uh, learning on their own or maybe learning via the university. So what I would say in here is go for the project. So you are learning C, you are learning C++, until unless you do some kind of professional grade projects. Now, I'm not talking about these uh, dumb projects like library management system or all these. I'm talking about something uh, rigorous uh, and that takes some time and team management as well. Like for example, let me give you a quick few examples. Let's just say when I teach students uh, about in our mobile design course, iOS application, I like to teach them something like a clone of Snapchat or a clone of very famous, the James Bond app that I do in every seminar or every every offline workshop or online workshop that I do, or something like clone of uh, a Snapchat or maybe a WhatsApp chat or maybe a Uber clone. So these are some good projects that you need to implement. If you're going on to the web-based project, again, I would recommend to clone something big like uh, a Yelp clone would be good or maybe an Airbnb clone would be good or Zomato clone. These clones needs to be there. Now, I'm not taking uh, so that you can take over those business. I'm simply saying uh, while learning something about uh, cloning the websites of those business, uh, you will realize how complex things can go on while designing the project. So. My number one tip would be to go for the projects, have some good idea. There are lots of apps in your mobile phone, Snapchat, WeChat, uh, WhatsApp, Uber, uh, Yelp, uh, other such things. So make sure you go for that approach. So once this is being solved, the next problem that I see everywhere, this is going everywhere, not just at one place, all over the globe, is the level of patience. Now, everybody, when uh, somebody learns the PHP, he wants to create a Facebook. Or when somebody learns an iOS, he wants to create a game like a, a Flappy Bird game or maybe other such famous games. Now, what I'm saying is these games are not being done just by one person. And obviously, these games were not meant uh, to be created in just one day. 
they took a whole amount of time there and rigorous process is being made so you have learned the php just maybe last within a week or maybe a month and you want to create a facebook there uh, it's not gonna be possible let's just be honest here yes it's a good idea to get them and clone them learn uh, some of the basics there that's a, a completely good approach neither i'm demotivating anyone that you cannot create a big scale project that's not the motto all i'm saying is you should have patience within a week or within a month you cannot just complete a good scale project so what i've seen is people are missing the patience level when you design a proper website when you design a proper app with just one app it takes months and you should be ready for that now i i never say that i'm gonna be doing a magic in my courses or any other people uh we just don't say that we are gonna do a magic and within one month or two months you will be able to write a full-fledged scale yes you would definitely be able to understand the syntax and some good processes and good bad, best practices there but again this doesn't mean you will be pro so next step that you should have develop a lot of patience and with lot i'm saying a lot of patience you will be sent, spending maybe three months or six months or maybe a year to just design one simple product but trust me when you will be able to do that uh, particular project is gonna be your lifetime earning trust me on that uh, whether that project may be uh, getting good hype or maybe that get failed but the knowledge that you will be getting while designing that project is gonna be super remarkable so these are my two tips let me quickly summarize that first go with the project based learning approach and uh, not just the dummy project that everybody has been doing for over past 10 years go with the modern era try to design modern apps and uh, after that have some level of patience within a month there is no magic that's gonna happen stay in the true life and go with the developers rigorous process and spend some time with that language it's not a matter of just a couple of months to understand properly the syntax of programming language and everything it takes years and that's the truth now in case you think that this video can be helpful for somebody then make sure you share it with your friends and i'll surely catch you up in the next video